This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more Sudoku techniques. Um, this is puzzle number 87. It's a diabolical puzzle. It's from Sudoku to Go, volume 100, by Soap Opera Digest. And uh, in this video, we're going to solve a diabolical puzzle. We've already solved uh, an easy, medium, and hard puzzle from this volume, from volume 100. And uh, today we're going to solve a diabolical one. Now, as you see, I've already filled in a lot of the numbers. Uh, what I've essentially done is um, found the low-hanging fruit, uh, found the easier uh, numbers to fill in. And at this point, I got a little bit stuck. I wasn't sure what to do next. Um, you can see we've got eight, nine twins here, two, seven twins here, one, eight, nine triplets. Um, let's see, one, two, seven triplets here in this column. Uh, one, two twins, five, six twins, one, nine twins. I know a lot about a bunch of these things, but I don't really know um, enough to uh, continue on. And because these diabolical puzzles are pretty difficult, um, you need to get kind of creative and either um, f find something that will help you solve a number or two and then uh, you'll have a breakthrough and continue on or you have to get creative and use a combination of techniques in order to to uh, to find uh, you know have a breakthrough um, so at this point if you'd like to stop the video and see if you can find anything before you continue on you could do that um, and I'm going to show you a, a combination of techniques that will help you um, have a breakthrough on this puzzle. So anyway, um, you remember we have uh, was a one two seven twin uh, triplets there, eight nines, one eight nines, two sevens, um, five sixes, one twos, one nines, and I you, you look at this and, it, and nothing really jumps out at you. But one thing about the diabolical puzzles and all the levels in these uh, Sudoku to Go magazines is they're, um, they are, you're able to solve them logically. Or in other words, you don't have to do any kind of trial and error. Um, they are, uh, they should be able to be solved um, logically. And in, all, in most cases, and uh, I've found that to be true. So let's look at this a little bit closer. Um, one thing I didn't mention is we do have two seven twins here. We have two sevens and one two seven triplets here. And we got a one here, so that has to be a two seven in these triplets. So these are twins. So that because of that, we can find what these twins are, because there's only two numbers left that we don't know yet. So we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are six nine twins and two seven twins. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't help us. But uh, let's look a little bit more. We've also got a seven and a five here, and a five and a seven here, which will give us twins right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a number in that I know is the right number, and that's this one right in the very middle um, of this square. Now you could stop the video and see if you could, based on a couple of things I told you about these twins, you could see if you could um, figure out why I know that that's a one. So let me just plow ahead and show you how I found that. Uh, this is the key right here. These five, seven twins 
help us know that we've got 1, 6, and 9 left here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 6, and 9 fit here. Um, you'll also see that there's a 1 here, and so one of these has to be a 1, one of these two in these two columns. And we've got one, two twins here, so one of these two has to be a ones. And with double column elimination, we know that one of these two is a one. We still don't know which one is a one, um, but we know one of these two has to be a one. Now we've got one, eight, nines here, and we've got, remember we found a five, seven twins right here, so we've got one, six, nine here. Let's focus on the ones there. Uh, we have ones and a one and a one here, so we one of these two has to be a one. And over here, we know one of these three has to be a one. These can't be a one because they're five seven twins. So with these ones and these ones, we've got double row elimination, just like we did this double column elimination up here in this in this section. In this section, we've got we can do double row elimination. One of these is a one. And one of these is a one. Because of double row elimination there, we know the one can't fit there. So that's how I found that one. And that was the breakthrough that I needed. Now, remember these were triplets, one, two, seven triplets. This is now, these are now two, seven twins. There's a seven there. So that's a two. And that's a seven. We had two, seven twins there. So now we know that's a 2 because there's a 7. Now we have 7, 7, 7. And we can fill in, in these 5, 7 twins here that we found. There's a 7 there, so that's a 5. With that 5, we know that's a 7. We've got 7, 7, 7. We got 5, 5. So that's a 5. That was the breakthrough we needed. These were five, six twins, so we know that's a six. Um, now that we know this is a six, um, we know one of these is a six. We can't solve that yet, but we know one of these is a six. Let's see, well, we can't solve that yet. All right, so. Uh, now we've got, let's look at a few other things now. Now that we got that, had found that breakthrough there, we'll be able to um, probably solve the rest of this puzzle. Uh, let's look around a little bit. We've got, let's just go through the sections now that we've filled in more numbers. One, one, one. Okay. Because of these ghost ones here and this one, we know one of these is a one. Oh, and we've got, of course, a row here that's almost complete. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One nine there. We've got six nine there. If you remember the six nine twins we had there. And we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm sorry. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's a nine right there, so we know that's a nine. And we can fill in this six. So what do we have left? One and six. Up there, there's a six. One, six. And now we got six, six, six. Let's see if we can find this loner cell right here. 532, 532, 87, 87. Nope. Oh. Okay, that looks like a, a one. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A one there. Okay. So it looks like. We got one, one, one right there. What do we have here? Eight and nine left. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, nine there. Can't solve those. But now we know one of these is a nine, so ghost nine's there, so that's a one. Of course, we also knew one and one there. Okay, and a nine there. You got six, nine there. Can't solve those yet. One, two's there. Can't solve those. Eight, nine's there. At eight nine here, we may be running into another uh, roadblock here. We'll see eight nine eight nine and eight there. They got nines here and nines here, so we know one of these is a nine. Can't solve that. Well, let me go back to sections. One 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 two. Two, 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 threes, three, 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 fours. I think we have all our fours. Okay, fives. Okay, one of these two is a five here. We have fives and a five there, so that's a five. And therefore, we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 there. Okay. 5, 5, 5. Sixes. 6, 6, 6. We've got a 6 there, so 6, 6, 6. 7s. One of these is a seven. We got a seven there and seven there, so that's got to be a seven right there. Okay, seven, 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 eights. Eight, eight. One of these is an eight, and one is a two, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, and eight. Can't solve those yet. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. One nine's there, so there's a nine. And two eights there. One, let's look at these two numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, eight. There's a six, so that's an eight. Six. Now we can solve these six nines right there. And these eight nines here. And these eight nines. And we got one and two here, and two and, what was this? Two and eight, right? Got an eight there, so that's a two and an eight. And a one and a two. So the two goes there, and the one goes there. Okay, so we were able to solve that diabolical puzzle. But we had to get pretty creative. We had to use a combination of techniques. And if you remember, we found these 5-7 twins here. Uh, we knew one of these was a 1. We didn't know which one. And when we found these 5-7 twins, we knew that these 1-8-9s here, one of these had to be a 1, and one of these had to be a 1. And therefore, um, this column already had a 1 in it, either here or here. So we could place the one there, and at that point, that was our breakthrough that helped us solve this puzzle. Um, watch for volume 101 to come out, and I will solve uh, one from each level in that, in that uh, magazine. And in the meantime, I may, if I find anything that's of interest, I will post another uh, video uh, with other techniques. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.